G'day, it's Owen from Hawk Engineering. Just going to give you guys a quick rundown on how to get started with the LibreCart wireless indicator. LibreCart is specifically designed for chaser bins and runs on both tablets and smartphones. These can either be Apple or Android and the box on the bin connects to the device via Bluetooth. So to get started we just need a chaser bin set up with a LibreCart box and then we need to download an app onto our device. I've got an iPad here so we just go to the screen and open the App Store. So once you go into the App Store, you want to search LibreCart. And you're looking for an icon that looks like this, this green icon. It says LibreCart. Once you've installed the app, just launch it and you'll come up to the main display tab. This is where we see the wait. At the moment, we're not connected to the bin yet, so there won't be any to wait displayed on the screen. You'll just have dashes. Um, so to connect to the box on the bin, we need to go to the Settings tab. So you'll see across the bottom of the screen these tabs. At the moment we're on the display tab. We want to go to the settings tab. If you can't see the settings tab, just hit more. So once you're at the settings tab, um, there's a few things we can change. You'll notice you can change the units here. So I've got kilo selected. And you also want to make sure um, the display mode is the primary display. So to connect to the box on the bin, you go up the top left of the screen and hit the plus. So at this point, the device is searching for the LibreCart box. So it'll either come up with successfully paired or unsuccessfully paired. If you're having trouble connecting, I'll put a link below to another video um, which will go through connection troubleshooting. But it should just come up with successfully paired like it has here. So hit OK and it'll ask us to give the bin a name. We'll just call this 36 ton bin and there's another couple of settings we can change here but we'll just leave those for now, just hit done. And now down the bottom of the page we've got paired devices. So the box we've just connected to has come up in this list and the name we've given it 36 ton bin. We can go back and edit those settings that we haven't changed yet over the side here, that information button, but we'll just leave those for now. So we'll go back to the main display tab um, and we've got wait coming up on the screen since we're now connected. So at this point we might have an empty bin but it's not showing zero wait and we haven't set the calibration information. So to change both them things we need to go to the device tab. So again, across the bottom of the screen, we go to the device tab, and you'll come up with a page that looks like this. Up the top of the page is our calibration information, and down the bottom of the page is some information about the box that we've just connected to. So up the top, if we've got Avery load cells on our bin, um, we use 1.3 for sensitivity. So 1.3. And depending on the size of the bin, the rate of capacity is different. So for a tandem axle bin with five load cells, the rate of capacity is 68,039. If it's a single axle bin with three load cells, it'll be 48,23. So we'll do this one as a tandem axle bin. So 68,039. And we'll save those settings. It wants us to accept that. So this is the factory settings for a five load cell bin. Um, you'll see a little bit further down the calibration factor is one. We can refine the calibration with a little inbuilt calculator they have here. But just for now we'll leave that at one and use the factory settings. Um, we also need to zero the scale to let it know that the bin's empty. You'll also see the zero scale button there. So we'll hit zero scale. Yes. And now we'll go back to the main display. And you'll see the scale zeroed. I do have this iPad hooked up to a load cell simulator so I can add weight to the bin like you would if you put grain in the bin. So you can see that there now. Um, you also may want to connect another device to the to the LibreCart box, the chaser bin. So the header driver can see the weight and also possibly a truck driver. Um, 
I've got another phone here, so this is an iPad tablet. I've got an Android phone. It doesn't matter, you can mix and match. So I'll show you how you can get the scale showing up on another device. So just like we did on the main um, iPad, which is the primary display, we connect the other device as what's called remote mode. So you install the app on the, on the phone, and then we launch the app. And just like we did with the main display, we go to the settings tab, so settings, and like I said, this is where we want to make sure we've got remote display selected and not primary. You can't connect two primaries, so it'll just say unsuccessful if we tried to do it. Um, so we connect as the remote display. So again, up the top left corner, we hit the plus button. You want to make sure you've got Bluetooth turned on. Um, and then again, it'll say come up with successfully paired. Now I close that, it asks us to name it again. So again, we'll call this the 36 ton bin. And go OK. And you'll see there, now I've got the paired devices, 36 ton bin. If, just say I was a header driver and we had a few bins, the header driver might have a couple in, in the list here of the different bins. And as each bin comes close, it'll switch to whichever bin is in uh, the proximity. So we'll go back across to the display tab and you can see there now we've got the weight showing on both devices. So just add some more weight and you can see it changing on both devices there. Uh, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.